What are we going to review today? Well, look what I've got. I've been down Iceland and uh, these are £1.17 where I live, but you'll probably find they're a pound where you live because I live in a little island, they add on another 17p, normally a quid. Iceland, of course, chicken uh, rice, curry chicken rice. Um, I've done these before, and you know, I know what you're gonna say, what's the point of viewing these? They're all pretty much the same, but for a pound, or a pound 17, are they, are they any good? I mean, is it worth the quid? Or are you better just not to bother? Uh, they tend to be all right from what, you know, what I've seen in the past. This one you do, you can do in the microwave or you can do it pan fry it. And uh, you cook it, I was just reading the instructions, you actually cook it in the bag and you don't pierce it. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you quickly the packet and as usual, I'm going to cook it all, show you up, show all about it, let you know what I think about it and uh, do a little taste test, mark it out of 10. I don't know about this. You never know with these, do you? I'm just gonna show you the packet quick. So Iceland, uh, curry, chicken, rice. This is what it should look like. And we've got, it's 350 grams. And there's the serving suggestions. Looks all right, isn't it? So as I mentioned before, you've got a few options way to cook. You can microwave it from frozen, six minutes, uh, or you can pan fry from frozen, 10 minutes. All right. Uh, the ingredients are there, so you'll feel free to pause the video if you've got any allergies and stuff like that. Nutritional information. So a little bit more information on it here. Uh, it's curry chicken rice, cooked white rice in a curry sauce with cooked chicken pieces. Cauliflower, apple and peas. Nice and uh, store at minus 18 or colder, and you've got the promise there. Recycle, don't recycle at home. Recycle with bags at large supermarket. Okay, okay. Best before date, and that's pretty much it. Not a lot to show, really. But as I said, um, the, the ways to cook, I was just looking just now, and it, uh, for the, um, you can see for the microwave, place it on a microwave or plate, seam side up. And my wife had to tell me what seam side up meant because I wasn't sure. Uh, do not pierce the bag and cook on, uh, cook for six minutes, stand for one minute. Shake the bag gently before use. Take care when opening the product will still be hot. Yeah, so I'm assuming seam side up is like that way in the microwave. Anyway. Let's uh, get it in and give it a taste. Hello, doggy. Right, in the microwave we go. So, seam side up. Uh, is that going to be all right? Is that going to sit? I hope I got that right. It could be a disaster if I haven't. Seam side up, do not peel, do not uh, pierce the bag. Seven minutes, actually. We want, uh, we want seven, don't we? Seven. We are off. Round and round we go. So while it's cooking, let me know in the comments below if you've ever had this and what your thoughts are on it. Um, yeah, I mean, so I've had similar ones in the past. They tend to be okay, but of course it always comes down to personal choice, doesn't it, with these. Some people will say they're disgusting, some people will say they have them. Um, and I always sort of remind people that you know, I don't expect much for a pound, but it should taste a bit like it's meant to. And yeah, they're probably not the most nutrition healthy meal in the world, but quick little meal when you're in a rush, seven minutes, we'll see. Sometimes you can add other things, can't you, to it? Have it bread and butter or something like that. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you've had this. Remember, if you want to see more reviews like this in my kitchen, remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell for notifications, and um, we'll see. Smelling, it's smelling like a curry. So just looking inside, we've got about a minute to go. You can see the bag has, can you see? I know you can see my reflection as well, but um, hello. The bag has in, like, inflated, but it did say not to pierce the bag. So, <laughs> almost feel like standing back like it's gonna blow. Almost there, look. 
There we go, all done. Right, I'm going to be very careful because I think this could be very hot. It says to give it a little gentle shake and maybe give it a minute. Then we'll open it up and have a look. Now for the best bit. So what I've done, I've let, I've let it stand for a minute. So it's did, uh, it was seven minutes, wasn't it, in the microwave. You saw it inflated right up. It's gone down now. So you've got to be careful when you take it out of the microwave, hold the corner because it is very hot. And I've left it stand for a minute. And that's the position I had it in the microwave, remember. I wasn't put it flat down. It's just I happened to read the instructions. So like that. So I'm going to cut the top off. And uh, I thought I got a plate out a minute ago, but I obviously didn't. I'm going to cut that. There we go, steaming away. So I'm just gonna get a plate and uh, we'll empty it in. So I see some peas. I think it had cauliflower as well, didn't it? Yeah, it's certainly hot. So yeah, we've got a bit of sauce in there. You can see a bit of sauce on the plate. Uh, it's very piping hot. So we've got some chicken, peas. I think it said cauliflower as well. It does smell really nice. Let's give you a few close-ups of this before I uh, have a taste. Right now for the best bit, the taste test. So it's stood here for about maybe a minute, minute and a half. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of rice, a little bit of chicken. Uh, so obviously visually, you saw the pictures of it there. It looks fine. I'm gonna get a bit of chicken, a bit of rice. Um. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the chicken's pretty tough, to be fair. Mm. Well, to be honest, um, it's sort of what I expected. It's very much tastes like the other ones, uh, the Uncle Bet. You know what I mean, the Uncle Ben's, they've rice, they've got, you, you know, it's, I don't really know what to say. It's sort of the same as all the other ones. It's certainly edible. The chicken's okay, but, so what do I think? It's okay. It's fine. It's, I'll probably taste it slightly better, but for a pound, you know, you got rice, you got chicken, you got a little meal there. Um, would I buy it again? Possibly, possibly. Um, I'd give that probably six and a half, six and a half out of 10. Um, I, will, I will eat the rest of it. Um, the flavors, it's just the normal sort of flavor you get. If you know what I mean, if that makes sense. You know, if you've, if you've ever bought like rice, spicy rice or something like that, it's just it's the same spice. Curry-ish, you know, that curry-ish taste, which obviously is what it is. Um, yeah, so all in all, is it worth the quid? Probably, yeah, it is. But, you know, let me know what you think about it. It was okay. I mean, I suppose you could always add more chicken with it, couldn't you? And if you put it with something, you could probably have quite a cheap meal. But yeah, all in all, all right. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> don't say it's, it's fine. Uh, if you want to see more stuff, remember subscribe. Theme reviews in my kitchen. See you next time.